It's uh, June 14, 2011, and uh, what I'm about to do is uh, hybridize that female Trachycarpus fortunae palm in our garden. Uh, what I have here is Trachycarpus wagnerianus pollen from local palm on Salt Spring Island, a male, and not the female. That one I planted in uh, 1988, February 1988, when it was a one gallon size plant. It was a really small palm tree, and I have many uh, palm trees right now blooming in our garden. But this particular one always produces really hardy offspring. It self-seeds profusely around the base of the palm. And uh, by dusting the female flowers on that uh, Trachycarpus fortunae, or Chinese windmill palm, I uh, get a completely different type of uh, uh, palm out of, the, uh, out of the offspring. So they get a lot smaller and stiffer fronds on them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to climb up here now on this ladder. And uh, right now this uh, mother plant, this female, has six I think flower spikes. Uh, let's just see. One, two, three, four. It's got five of them still opening. So what I do, I get up here and I dust dust them just like this. And the pollen, and I'm going to do this again too. I'm going to get some more pollen tomorrow just to make just to make sure these are pollinated properly. So we just shake the male pollen from the Trachycarpus wagnerianus over top of these female flowers. I'm also going to stick this flower spike in here too, because uh, it will be wind pollination. So when the wind blows, it will uh, put the pollen up into those female flowers. So there we go. And uh, the seeds will start to form almost immediately and uh, in December I harvest the seeds from this palm tree that's when they're going to be ripe about uh, mid-December I harvest the fruit from this thing and uh, that palm should give about 50 or 60 pounds of fruit and uh, where the fruit is the seeds and I grow new palms from it and I also um, ship it worldwide so I'll grab that camera and I'll give you a closer look at Trachycarpus fortunae flowers. So there's the palm, and you can see up here, we'll look up into here, and you can see the flowers on this female palm. See those wild flower stalks sticking off of there? So this one I hybridize every single year. It's a really tough palm. Been outside through many, many winters, and it's never been damaged. So, like I say, it always produces nice hardy offspring. Some of them growing down here around the base of it. Matter of fact, there's tons of them. They're just coming up everywhere. So those are self-seeded palms all over the place. And lots of hybrid ones as well. They're everywhere. They're even here too. They've actually spread quite a ways from the palm tree. So, there it is. Another year of hybridizing female Trachycarpus for Tunai Palm on Salt Spring Island.